Welcome back everyone. Quick AM Express and the top stories we're following as you get ready to start your day. A group of teens accused of wreaking havoc in Glens Falls have been arrested now. 16 minors and five parents arrested overall over the course of the summer in connection with a series of incidents ranging from misdemeanors to felony assaults. Police say this mostly happened in the downtown area. The teens are being charged with assault and gang assault while the adults arrested have been charged with endangering the welfare of a child for not supervising their kids. And Gilderland residents, they're voicing some health concerns about the building of warehouses. They say that runoff from a proposed construction site, it could pollute the adjacent Waterville Reservoir, which supplies Gilderland's drinking water. Residents will be able to voice their concerns at a public forum on October 4th at Gilderland Town Hall. Heads up, if you're traveling on Amtrak, there will be some travel disruptions. Amtrak announcing trains on the Lakeshore Limited Line, the Empire Service Line, and the Maple Leaf Line will see some schedule changes. Track work is being done between Niagara Falls and Albany. Some trains will end in Albany. Others are skipping the stop in Schenectady, so pay attention and check in with Amtrak if your train is affected potentially. And getting kids to and from school may be a whole lot greener in New York State. Governor Kathy Hochul announcing $100 million for zero emission school buses. The funding is a part of the Clean Water, Clean Air and Green Jobs Act of 2022. Bus manufacturers and dealers, they can now start that pre-application process to receive funding. All school buses on the roads must be zero emission by 2035. A read of football heading back to Albany. The Albany Empire's former co-owner telling us they're still working on a team name and they have not decided on an official league at this point. You may remember the Empire was kicked out of the National Arena League earlier this year after a series of controversies. Some Empire staff reportedly returning to join the new team.